Hello everyone, today we will study the beta oxidation of the fatty acid in very easy way. So first of all, what is beta oxidation of the fatty acid? Simply, from the definition we can learn, it is the oxidation of the fatty acid in beta carbon. What is its function? Its function is energy production and the site is cytoplasm and mitochondria. The pathway is quite difficult to learn but we will make it easy today. So the steps involved are like activation of the fatty acid, transportation of the fatty acid and proper pathway. So let's begin. First of all, as you can see here, the fatty acid is activated. So activation is done by thiokinase. Thiokinase in cytoplasm in cytoplasm so activated fatty acid is acyl coa so the next step as we can see is transportation of the fatty acid so from where to where does the transportation takes place as we know the site is cytoplasm and mitochondria of course the transportation takes place from the cytoplasm to the mitochondria so cytoplasm to mitochondria so let's make the membrane here this is the membrane this is the mitochondrial this is the mitochondrial membrane so from here the transporter like the bus you can say bus car the transporter here is carnitine similar to car yes carnitine transporter brings the acyl coenzyme from the cytoplasm to mitochondria sorry mitochondria and it is acyl coa so now transportation takes place so further now the proper pathway so let's start the proper pathway so from here we learn a mnemonics so the further products that will form here is starts from ATPK A square and the enzymes that forms these products are DHDT plus from this only we can complete the whole pathway so let's learn product ATBK A square and the enzymes are DH and DT so already A we have acyl CoA now the next product will be from T so what is the next product that is trans enol acyl sorry trans enol acyl coa so here the enzyme that involved here is from d here so what is from d we know this dehydrogenase this is destructive reaction so of course it is what happening here is oxidation by the dehydrogenase it form transenol now next is already we have T now what is the product B so from B we have hydroxy acyl sorry CoA that is formed this is the product enzyme H from H we have hydratase enzyme it forms this and this process is known as hydration process what process now next is B we already have B now K K for keto keto acyl CoA what is the we already have H now D again D high you can see this already again D hydrogenase the process is known as oxidation oxidation again now what is the next one A square so from here sorry A this is unstable so A so two products 
a square so a what is the a a sile coe and another one is acetyl coe so this step is known as Lewis breaking down and the enzyme here from T right so from T we have thiolase so now this acetyl coa undergoes TCA cycle and this acyl coa again it this is not stable this again goes like this here to follow the same pathway this is it